What's up YouTube, Daniel Fleerfield here and in today's video I will teach you how to swing or even swing better. I dare it. In the first episode of Street Worker Freestyle Tutorials I showed you what the requirements are in my opinion before you can start training freestyle and what you should think of when warming up for it. If you missed that video just click here up in the corner but today we are talking about the swing. The swing is the key to almost every freestyle move when you are under the bar. Learning how to have a good swing will give you a huge advantage later on and you are going to be able to learn skills faster because of the power you are generating from the swing. Now let's break down the steps for the swing. Okay, it's time to give you the steps to be able to perform the swing that I'm showing you right now. This huge swing is the end goal and will save your hands from ripping. This is because you only need one swing to get the speed that is needed instead of swinging 2-3 times. You will need good grip strength for the huge swing so you do not slip during the movement. Ok so the first thing you should think of when jumping onto the bar is the thumb placement. Your thumbs should not be above the bar. Having your thumbs like this gives you a huge risk of slipping forward or backwards. This is because you are not really having a grip around the bar but just above it. Some street worker athlete might not agree, but if you are a beginner and just starting to learn, then take this advice. If you have the possibility to use gymnastic chalk or liquid chalk, then I would recommend you to do it. If you don't know what it does, chalk makes your hands dry by absorbing sweat. It ensures a more reliable and strong grip that prevents you from slipping on the bar. Ok guys, now it's the time to start hanging on the bar. When you are swinging, you always have straight arms and not bend. The swing should not be performed with strength, that's why you don't bend them. The first step to understanding the swing is to learn how to only use your hips and heels first to get your body moving. This will build up your body control and will be useful later on when you progress for the next step. So start by hanging with straight arms on the bar and thumbs around it. Your core and hips will be relaxed in this position and your lower back will be slightly arched without you thinking of it. Ok now, tension your core. Have straight legs and tilt your hip backwards, called pelvic tilt. So your lower back gets a little bit rounded and when you do that, your feet should get in front of your body. At the same time as you do the activation with the lower body, you activate your scapula a little bit as well. If you have done this correct, you have started a small small movement forward. Now to the second step. When you have come to the highest point in the movement forward, you relax your hip and core, arch your lower back a little bit and tension it while you have straight legs. Just imagine a wrecking ball that is swinging and in this movement your heels are like the wrecking ball generating speed to the swing backwards. And now connect the two steps together over and over again to get more and more swing. Don't get frustrated if you feel that you're not getting it. Just focus and keep practicing those two steps and you will start getting the movement soon. And remember guys, just get the amount of speed that you can handle without getting scared. And when letting go of the bar, do it when you are swinging backwards, look at your feet and land softly on them. Let's continue towards the progression where you start using more of your body to do a swing. The first thing you should do is to get a tiny swing with the technique that I showed you before. And then on your way forward in the swing you raise your knees 90 degrees into almost a tuck front lever. After that you will kick your feet forward and straighten out your hips at the same time and getting your body as tall as possible. After you have done that, arch your lower back a little bit and tension it as well as I showed you before. Lead the swing with your heels, that's how you will get the power on your way back. Now when you are on your way back, you have a straight body and you just repeat the same thing again. But the difference now is that you will have more speed in your swing. Now that you have learned those steps and can understand how to get the swing, I will show you the last step and that's getting the huge swing with one swing. Start by approaching the bar, when you are around a half a meter from the bar you jump into it so you jump forward and up, not only up. Now when you have grabbed the bar, get your feet and knees ready to kick yourself up and into a tuck front lever. After that you repeat the steps I showed you before, 
straighten out your feet as far as possible and get your hips straight and your lower back a little bit arched and lead the power of the swing with your heels. Now you will swing back with enormous speed and power. Okay guys, that's how you learn the swing. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like and let me know in the comments what skills I should do a tutorial about. And if you're new to this channel and want to see more street workout freestyle tutorials, consider subscribing and I will post one tutorial every week. So I will see you in the next video.